name is Henry Heenier from Henry Heen Marketing and what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the method that I use to make sure the ads I'm running are very very targeted, very laser targeted and are getting you the right results you want because as I said many times targeting is such an important element when it comes to profitable and successful Facebook ads you need to get that down before you basically do anything else in my mind it's it's a great great starting point that you should do when you're running any of your ads so what I'm going to do in this video is guide you through what I consider to be a fail-proof uh, method of targeting ads. I did get this from someone I look up, look up to in Facebook marketing and this gets me really, really great results. So I'm going to guide you through this in this video here. Obviously the video will be a bit longer than some of my other videos, but uh, I'll try and keep it as short as possible and guide you through the process very quickly. So firstly, let's start off with why is targeting important? So targeting is important because Without proper targeting, as I, you can see, I say here, you are just shooting in the dark. You're basically going blind with your eyes closed. You're throwing out your offer and it's it's not guaranteed to be uh, in front of the people who are actually going to be paying you money, which is what you eventually uh, want from your Facebook advertising. With any advertising you're doing, you want to get some sort of sales. Uh, you want to be getting a positive ROI and it's not guaranteed as long as you want targeting properly. Even if a, a fantastic offer you are putting out there, if it's not uh, in front of the, the right people, who most importantly, as I said here, uh, are raving fans, one, and they also have buyer's intent, which is the likelihood to, to buy your products and actually take out money from their wallet. Uh, your ads are, are not going to be as profitable as you can have them. If you get targeting uh, down as well, and use this method I'm going to outline here, uh, you will have an advantage over some of your other competitors who obviously don't uh, target as well as you are going to do after you follow this method. So uh, again, this is a method that's very, very successful, will get you good results. So I'm going to walk you through this now uh, and let's, let's get to it. So firstly, what is this? I'm going to give you a short breakdown of what I'm going to talk to you uh, about in these next uh, few minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Uh, basically, what I do to start off with when I'm doing this targeting method is you want to create a spreadsheet or graph from any any program you have got on your laptop. I'm currently using a Mac, so this is Pages. You want to have four sections, uh, four categories that you're going to target. Each niche obviously has different things that might be uh, required, but these are generally four categories that are fairly broad and can work in every niche. So first you've got your websites and information. Websites and information are free sites where you can get uh, information about that niche. Like say it's uh, fishing, you are trying to look for raving fans of, of fish. You will be looking for fishing websites, etc. And then the magazine um, section, I've put subscription in brackets because you want to find people who are actually paying a, a subscription meaning they have at least more buyers intent than the people in the first category. These people are actually spending money for a subscription in the niche, so they're more likely to, to actually pull out their wallets and buy. Once people have spent money on a niche already, it's, it's generally they're more likely to spend more. That's how it happens. And then stores obviously are stores where people are buying stuff in that niche already. You, you know these people are buyers. Uh, and then you've got celebrities and personas in that niche. Like if you were targeting uh, or trying to promote an acting class or acting t-shirts or whatever, uh, and maybe in the acting niche, some personas might be Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, Angelina Jolie, for example. Those will be uh, personas in that niche. So maybe, I don't know, uh, Jay-Z, Kanye West, whatever, if you're targeting music, uh, people in terms of music. So... How do I start? In this example, let me just say we're going to be uh, focusing on a football store. So uh, pretend we are trying to sell a product in the football niche. I'm going to guide you through now how exactly to target them and ensure your targeting is going to be on point. So firstly, you go to the Facebook audience insights. How do you get there? You go to uh, facebook.com uh, ads audience insights again i will link that in the comments below in case you don't know and then you should see this this screen here this is under my ad account so 
it'll be personal to, to your ad account. You obviously have to have an, an ad account first in order to see the screen. But if you're marketing on Facebook, those are requirements that you need to have anyway. So let's get to it. Firstly, it's it's set to the United States. That's where you want to start off generally. That's what I tend to do. But obviously, if you're, you're marketing in, in certain area, you can specify the area here. But let's just do United States for the sake of this example. And let's start off being very broad just to get a, a general idea of what we're looking at here. So we start off with football. Now let's see. So firstly, what I can tell by searching out football in the United States is this is a huge audience. Now it's probably too broad uh, for what you want to to go with eventually because it's it's just too general. But we're going to try and get a, a better idea of that now. Let's let's uh, blah blah blah. Okay, so you go on a page likes to get an idea of of who you're going to be targeting because. Uh, let me explain. When you target um, football, let's, when you're eventually running an ad, if you target football, the page likes category here shows you the type of pages that the people you're targeting are going to be liking. So if you target football when you're running an ad, the audience you're going to reach also like these people here. And from my, my first th thoughts and looking at this really briefly, this list is not people uh, a list of people that are raving fans when it comes to football but for the sake of this example let's open up a few uh, tabs to make that clear maria celeste i don't know who that is i know a couple of these are football fans but in general these people aren't uh really really targeted in terms of football so aren't uh, uh what you want to go with but i'll open a few examples for the sake of this argument Let's see. Da, 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 da. Mm -mm. Don't forget to track my time. Yes, I will try to. Okay. So let me just let that load a bit before it freezes. It's already frozen. But uh, okay. So let's let's get to it. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't freeze on me. All right, but anyway, I'm hoping you guys are understanding exactly the process up to now. Okay, let's uh, see. Cesar Lozano, it's frozen, but you can tell this is not a football fan. This is nothing to do with football. So this doesn't seem like a great targeting option, but let's go through the other pages to make sure. Um, Dr. Anna Maria Polo, definitely not. Uh, she looks like a lawyer by the looks of things or something like that lawyer doctor not what you want to be targeting if you're looking for raving football fans who are going to pull out their wallet major league soccer is is good it's obviously a football page so that's the one thing that might be good sofia vergara i know she's not football but you can see no it's not related to football nice picture but not related to football so uh what i like to do here in that case is uh, look for a football magazine. So uh, da, 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 football magazines. Let's see what comes up. So I generally like to do that. So if you're looking for um, football, if you're looking for uh, sorry a fishing niche, or you're trying to find fishing um, fans, you might want to type in fishing magazines, for example. If you're looking for acting people you might want to have active magazines and so on and so forth so now go to images to get an idea of what magazines you've got here world soccer football blah 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 442 you see an example of quite a few uh football they're clearly football magazines so what we want to do is go to back to the audience insights cancel this and let's take one of these magazines uh world soccer because obviously that is related to world no 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 world soccer again sometimes it might not come up if the audience size is not big but world soccer magazine so this this should be the right thing let's see da, 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 da. again 250 to 300,000 monthly active people in this demographic which is far better than the millions we had before uh, and let's see what they they uh, have here what you can see 
the, the type of targeting demographic you got here. World Soccer Fire, FIFA World Cup, my soccer buddy, the soccer house, elite sports, rankings of football, go soccer nation, blah, blah, blah. This seems like a good uh, niche niche to, to go with. So all we're going to do here is magazines and, and subscriptions. Uh, da, 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 da. Let, let me open a, a couple more, the soccer house in, in retail. So what you want to do is open up a few of these things if you're not sure to, to uh, see precisely what it is. Um, stores do we have stores here world soccer shop uh da, 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 da. celebrities and personas they don't seem to have celebrities and personas here but okay so we open up a couple of of these here if i open up soccernation.com you might want to open goal.com news media so the news and media will go into the websites and information by the way so Let's see see here. This this does seem like a good targeting option. So what I'm going to do is is I can instantly tell this relates to football. So uh, I will go ahead and put World Soccer magazine in here because that's um, a good targeting option if we're looking for football or soccer fans. You can tell here. So let's let's just uh, open this to clarify. Mm -mm -mm. Da -da -da. Slow laptop, but basically, basically, I think you're you're starting to understand the gist of uh, what I do using the or what you should do using the audience insights to narrow in on the audience. Uh, soccer nation. Yep, this is a soccer or football page. Da, da, da. Let's see here, World Soccer Shop. So this, uh, I guess, is a is a shop. Let's look at the About page. Let's go here. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, sorry. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, so. World Soccer Shop. Let's see that. Uh, so this should be a website that sells stuff. So go here and World Soccer Shop. Yes. And then this is gold.com. So gold.com should be websites information. So what I'm going to do now is uh, so we, we want to build up a list here on, on the side of at least like five different options on for each uh, category so let's see here I'm going to type in goal.com what comes up do we get the page you want to make sure you choose the right one goal.com Brazil goal.com goal.com website yep so this is it this is goal.com it's fewer than a thousand people so it seems like we can't target that let's try World Soccer Shop. World Soccer Shop. Shop. Something come up. Okay, this comes up. It's between 150, 200,000. Again, seems, this seems good. Uh, all these seem related to football. So, World Soccer Shop should be good. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, and what I want to do is is uh so yeah this this is basically what what you go through. I will uh now uh try and find maybe a a celebrity and persona just to give you some idea. Let's let's see uh da, da, da. what's something I found here the soccer house so. Let's type in the soccer house here. No. Or one of the other magazines I found. Let's try, uh, what should we call it? 442 magazine. So that's another football magazine that we can 
Fortier or to the magazine. But let's make sure it's properly targeted. Four, four, two. Yep, that's the right one. Let's make sure 90k to 100k, which is a good good audience size. Uh, yep, all this is related to football. Okay, now we've got a a coach, which could be a good option for the celebrity persona. I'm going to put that here. Here again. Clins man. Uh, all this is related to football, so once again, it's a good option. So we put it down here. Uh, open another uh, TV site, or we also want to find. Uh, let's see, what's the 18.com? Uh, so you, you want to just basically be opening a lot of these tabs so you can then search and make sure they're relevant. Uh, let's see, Jurgen Klinsmann to make sure he's actually related to football. Who is this Jurgen Klinsmann? Okay, straight away he you can tell he's a football uh, player. Seems like he's might be retired, so he's not doing football now, but he's definitely from this picture. I can tell because I to be honest I do know football. I can tell he's a he's a football fan, but let's let's uh make sure Jurgen Klinsmann is right. So blah, blah, let's go here. Yeah again Klinsmann. Sorry he didn't come up first. But anyway, sorry Jurgen. 150 to 200,000 monthly active people on Facebook, which is a good audience size. Uh, what else do we got here? All other public figures, athletes. Who is Clint Dempsey? Let's check. Who is Clint Dempsey? All these are football. Uh, da, 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 da. Goal UK. Uh, Goal UK might be a free website, so let's type it in here. Gold.uk. Uh, then uh, Gold.uk. What happens here? Audience size good enough? No, it's not. So we can't go with that. Goodbye, Jurgen. And then the 18 is uh, another soccer or football page. So this might be good. Let's try that. Close this. The 18.com. No, this doesn't come up, so can't use that. Uh, Clint Dempsey, he is clearly a, another football person, so. This is good. Let's add Clint Dempsey here. Clint Dempsey. Good. Uh, Clint Dempsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how good Clint Dempsey is. So, blah, blah, blah. Major League Soccer, Premier League, FIFA Women's, US Soccer, New York City FC, FIFA. You can tell he is a, a good. Uh, targeting option not too many people still a bit large but not too many people and it's related to football so Clint Dempsey can go down in the targeting options here so I get I think you get a gist of what exactly you have to do I'm not going to um, keep you through here to go through all the uh, all the process because it's just going to take long what I might do is fast forward and show you the uh, end bit after this is filled up so I'm going to I'm going to do that now and show you the end result of uh, this process and yeah I'm basically going to show you that so I'll fast forward now to show you the final result so we're back now with a little bit of a more filled up uh, list as you can tell I've got three here on the website you should have more technically but for the sake of this video being brief I've just made up three here um, five on the magazines and TV shows. Again, what you want to make sure you do is make sure these are actually subscription based so people are paying money and actually have buyers intent. And then we've got stores here. Again, you should possibly have more. And then you've got celebrities and known personas in the niche. And after doing all this, you can tell these are actual raving fans of football. And if you were to target these people, unlike any other targeting 
options or other targeting on Facebook, these people actually uh, are interested in, in the product and interested in buying from the niche. So this is the, the, the starting point of running any of your ads. And in future videos, I'm going to walk you through what you do after you've got these um, targeting options down, how exactly you run your ads, what ad sets and so on. I would say briefly, generally, and I got this from, again, one of my mentors I look up to in terms of Facebook advertising is group these all in different um, ad sets. So you run one ad in the websites category, one ad in the TV show category, one ad in the store category, one ad, one ad in a, or different ad sets, sorry, with the celebrity plus, uh, and persona category and then after doing those different ones you can see which one is is um, seems to be performing better out of all these sometimes you might be surprised that celebrities for example your ads do far better than stores or do far better than websites etc etc and yeah so this this is just a quick breakdown I will um, just give you a refresh of the the steps so as I said you draw up a table on your, your laptop computer using a program with four main categories. No, I won't track my time. Go to Facebook Audience Insights, search for something not too a uh, bit general so you get a idea of the niche and what sort of categories. Go to Google, search up some magazines in that niche, for example. Type those in into the, the um, Audience Insights and, and use this process I outlined to narrow in on the raving fans. And then you go to your Facebook ad manager after this and start creating your, your properly targeted ads. Um, as I said, each category in a different ad set probably and get ready to profit. So in future videos, I will outline exactly what we do in the next step with the running of the ads and making sure that's set up properly. But this is a, a quick breakdown. Final notes though, you still of course have to have a relevant offer after you've done this targeting in order to, to, to profit obviously but this is the first step to successful ads and some people might say of course yes you can have profitable ads or haven't done this process and I'm still having profitable ads well a thought uh, I would say is yes of course it is possible to have um, profitable ads without this laser targeted process but how much better would your ads be performing if you implemented proper targeting probably a lot better I would imagine Anyway, this is uh, my video with my targeting uh, process. Hope that helped. Hope you got a lot out of it. If you did, please uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other targeting um, uh, ideas you've had or have got you success with Facebook ads. If you tried this method, again, let me know how I perform. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos on Facebook marketing. Facebook marketing tips and making profitable ads and I'll see you on the next video.